forward to being there with many of you and having the honor to have the President of the United States do my formal swearing in. I, uh, I then will sometime either later this week or beginning of next uh, do more to develop my commander's intent, what it is I hope to achieve with your help. Uh, I'll speak to the entire workforce. I'll, I'll lay out for you my expectations, my hopes, uh, and most importantly, uh, share with you uh, my leadership style. Uh, and this is very different. Like one of the first rules is don't talk down to people, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I'll speak to you all right up here, <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, but, but alongside that is that I, I, I feel like I know you. Uh, I've worked alongside you as a member of Congress when I traveled. I've, uh, uh, I've had the chance to watch uh, when I was traveling around the world and I would go into an embassy and I'd arrive late at night and there were the folks in the political section or the economic section toiling, doing great work on behalf of America. So I have a great deal to learn about the State Department and how we perform our mission. But as people, I'm confident that I know who you are. I know that you came here. You chose to be a foreign service officer or a civil servant or to come work here in many other capacities and to, uh, to do so uh, because you're patriots and great Americans and because you want to be an important part of America's face to the world. My mission will be to lead you and allow you to do that, the very thing you came here to do. I, uh, I will, I will get to as many parts of this organization as I can. I said in my testimony uh, that I'll spend as little time on the seventh floor. I think it's the seventh floor, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll go up there in a minute. Uh, I'll be, I'll travel. I'm going to get out to USAID as quickly as I can to see their important part of our mission as well. I know that every task, every endeavor that each of you undertakes is a critical part of achieving that ultimate objective, which is to deliver President Trump and America's foreign policy around the world, to be the diplomatic face that achieves the outcomes that America so desperately needs to achieve in the world. Uh, I've, I've told this story a couple of times, but it's, it's worth repeating. Uh, the best lesson I ever got was from a fellow named Sergeant First Class Preetree. He was the first platoon sergeant in my first tank platoon when I was 22 or 23 years old. And I arrived there, and he, when I hopped out of the Jeep, he said, Lieutenant, you'll do well to just shut up for a while. And he, actually, I think he meant that. But, <laughs> but what, what, I, what I took him to be saying was that it's important that we listen and learn. And I know that I have an enormous amount to listen uh, to you about and to learn from you. Uh, I talked about getting back our swagger. And I'll fill in what I mean by that. But it's important. The United States diplomatic corps needs to be in every corner, every stretch of the world, executing missions on behalf of this country. And it is my humble, noble undertaking to help you achieve that. So I look forward. Thank you. I, uh, I, I look forward to meeting just as many of you as I can get a chance to do, to learning from just as many of you as I can, and to leading that team onto the field. I know that we will deliver for this president and for this country. Thank you. May the good Lord bless each of you. I'll see you all around the building. Thanks. <laughs>